Today we're making beer bread. Okay, so we're gonna use three cups of flour sifted, two to three tablespoons of plant-based butter, four tablespoons of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one can of Bud Light, and some coconut oil cooking spray for the pan. All right, so these are the three cups of sifted flour. I find this the most tedious part of the whole recipe. And what I do is I sift it like that back in the bowl. I trim off the rest in the bowl put this down and then I repeat three times. And I'm always, because I'm a bit of a fanatic, I'm trying to make as little mess as possible. But as you can tell, I'm not doing the best job. So, so why sifted flour? Uh, sifted flour, I tried to do it without sifted flour and I pack it in and then what ends up happening is the bread isn't as fluffy for some reason. So this is what makes the big difference is the sifted flour and I find this has been the easiest way for me to do it is I just fill this thing up like so, take it. Go, the start of the bread. Three cups of flour. All right, so four tablespoons of sugar. I use any sugar. That's just the one I happen to have. I can't even remember the, what it's called. Three teaspoons of baking powder. That's one teaspoon of Himalaya salt. I first just give it a quick mix. I give, I give it a quick mix before I add the can of beer. In goes the can of beer. So this is a 12 ounce can of beer and from, I've only ever used just a full 12 ounce can of beer and I've never had any issues. And we've tried different beer. Yeah, I tried Guinness when I first did it and I didn't like it. The bread was very strong tasting. So you I guess if you, were, Guinness, yeah. if you were a beer drinker, and you liked that rich flavor, you may really enjoy it. I liked the bread with the darker, but I prefer the light beer. Yeah. It's a much lighter taste. I find this spatula thing the best to mix it up, and I'll show you why I like it so much in a minute. But I find it mixes really well. What's great about this recipe too, is it requires very little mixing, no kneading. Okay, so we're just gonna lightly spray the pan with some coconut oil spray. We've done it without, but even the non-stick pan has um, had it stick, so we use the spray, or you could use parchment paper. I do that with um, my loaves, like banana bread, stuff like that. So the spatula cleans it up nice. Gets everything in there really good. All right, now we add the butter. So we're doing two tablespoons of butter. We've done it with one and we found it a little light. The bread wasn't as crispy. We've done it with three. It seemed really super crispy and tasty, but a bit heavy. So two seems perfect. All right, guys, our bread is ready. One hour is up. Here it is, beautiful. Looking good. Mmm, crunch. Beauty. The money shot.
All right, so here we have our final product. Yummy, steamy, warm bread. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. You guys have to try this recipe. So give it a try. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And we will see you on the next video.